What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and if you go online right now when you type in, you know, cold showers or how to be more productive or how to live a better life, cold showers will pop up everywhere saying that they have magical power and they will absolutely increase your lifespan and so much more, right? So I wanted to actually find out, do cold showers work? Do they benefit you in any way whatsoever? Are they good for you? And I say this because I do take cold showers and what I do feel from it, you know, I feel more energized. I know it's better for my skin and my hair, so I definitely do it because of that, because I wanna make sure that I have great skin and great hair. But are there other benefits that we don't know of? What's going on with this? Why are cold showers so popping right now? There's so many videos like, I took cold showers for a month, I took cold showers for a year, see the results. What happened? So in this video, I want to tell you what the actual benefits are, whether or not it's worth it, and what the negative side effects of cold showers are. So let's get into it. The first benefit of cold showers, and this is actually proven, people know this, is it improves your circulation. And one of the reasons why I would recommend it is because the effect that it has on your heart and your blood circulation. Cold showers help you improve your blood circulation and it boosts your heart health. It actually does that. And this is how it happens. When you take a cold shower, the low temperature of the water is going to actually constrict, right? Do this basically to the blood vessels close to your skin. And that's going to redirect blood flow to your other organs like your heart, organs deep inside your body, right? And that extra blood flow is also very beneficial for your organs and for your heart. Now, hot showers, on the other hand, would only increase blood flow around your skin and make you sweat a little bit more. And that's great. It's a great benefit. Is it worth taking a cold shower just for that? Eh, probably not, to be honest with you. So if that was the only benefit, I would say skip it. But there's more. There is definitely more. Cold showers are also very helpful in muscle healing and recovery. This is a reason why athletes, you know, they take those horrible, horrible ice baths. I mean, it looks so uncomfortable. It looks like you're gonna freeze to death there, but they actually help your muscles relax, heal faster, and the same goes for cold showers. Obviously not as much as an ice bath, but if you're taking a cold, cold shower, it will definitely help. If you're an athlete, if you're somebody that does a lot of strenuous work, your muscles are sore at the end of the day, right? If you work out a lot, trust me, it's going to help. We even have the next step of ice baths, which is cryotherapy, and that is very, very popular right now. Robbie actually likes to take them. I, I haven't done cryo, but I, I'm probably gonna do it like next week because she's telling me that it's amazing. So it does help. Now, like I said, the biggest reason for me is my hair and skin. Hot water on your hair and your skin causes a lot of damage. It dries everything out. That is why I like to take cold showers. But it's not magic, right? You still need an amazing skincare routine to have amazing skin. And that is why today's video sponsor, Tej Hanley, is here to help. Tej Hanley has everything you need and they deliver to your doorstep every month. You just subscribe to their system and you get all of the products that you need delivered to your doorstep. Now, so many guys are like, Alex, I don't really want a skincare routine. You know, I don't want to have like 27 steps. You don't need it. That is not what I'm saying at all. But you do need a basic skincare routine to make sure that you're not aging prematurely, to make sure that you don't have a lot of wrinkles, that you don't have pimples, because let's be honest, guys. Yes, we're men and we don't have to be doing everything to look our best, but also if you do the basics and you get rid of a pimple here and there, some blackheads, some wrinkles, some sun damage, that's gonna give you more confidence, right? Whether you're going on a date, it's gonna give you confidence to look at that girl in the eyes, look at that person in the eyes and be confident. Or you're going on a job interview, right? And you can look at that person in the eyes and you're not staring at a zit on your nose or in the middle of your forehead. There are several different levels at Tej Hanley that you can choose from. You can start with just the basics like the face wash, the AM and PM moisturizers, and their facial scrub, which you can use twice a week to remove all of those dead skin cells and reveal brand new skin cells that are smooth and clear. And then if you're ready for the next step, if you want to look your absolute best, then you can add the eye cream, for example, right? Or the super serum, because these are going to absolutely change the way that you look. The eye cream, for example, is going to help if you have dark circles, if you have puffy bags under your eyes from not sleeping enough or just from being tired or staring at a screen all day, it will definitely help. And guys, the cool thing is if you use my link for Tej Handling today, you get a special gift and a special price as well. So make sure to go check him out. It's the first link in the description below. You guys have heard me talk about Tej Handling so much here on the channel already. So hopefully you know that they're good and you know that they can be trusted. It is the first link below. And when you're washing your face, when you're washing your hair, make sure that it's not hot 
water. That is going to completely dry out your scalp. It's going to dry out, especially your face. It's going to definitely dry out your face. So you don't have to go super cold, but definitely do not use hot water because that will damage your scalp and your skin. Now, so far, cold showers have amazing benefits, right? It sounds pretty good. I mean, besides the whole like, it sucks and it's too cold thing, it sounds great. But can cold showers also be bad for you? Well, studies have found that yes, they can actually be bad for you too. And a lot of people don't talk about this, but some people should exercise caution when taking cold showers. That includes people with weaker immune systems and those people with serious heart conditions like congestive heart failure, right? This is because the sudden changes to the body temperature and the heart rate, it can overwhelm the body. So it's not for everyone. Don't think that just because, you know, Alex said it's good or this other YouTuber said it's good, that it's good for you. You should obviously make sure that you're doing your own research and that you're trying things out. Now, how do you take cold showers, right? You're probably asking Alex. I mean, you're saying there might be a risk here. How cold are you talking about? Look, the benefits of cold showers actually begin when the water temperature dips down to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, to put that in perspective, that's about 40 degrees lower than your typical steamy shower. So it's pretty cold, right? Give your body time to adjust as you drop that water temperature, as you go from H to C, right? 30 seconds under that cold stream is going to give you that desired response, the desired results that you want. And within three minutes, you start to see those benefits, right? You start, your veins start to constrict, like I said, your skin will feel better, your hair will feel better. And of course, your body will start adjusting to that temperature, which is a good thing. Taking cold showers in the morning before you start your day definitely gives you an energy boost, right? It prepares you for the day, it's just like caffeine, but without those nasty side effects. It's an amazing way to get your day started without feeling sleepy or groggy because let's be honest, guys, if you don't sleep enough, right? You sleep six hours that day or whatever and you're not used to that. If you wake up and you're not feeling good, you're feeling groggy, you have a big work day, a big school presentation or whatever it may be that morning. If you're gonna go take a nice, warm, soothing shower, you're not going to wake up. You're gonna sit there, you're probably gonna lean against the wall just look up in the water and just like, uh, I don't want to do this, right? That's literally, that's what I've done that so many times. So I know you do it too. I've seen it happen firsthand that happens. So instead of doing that, if you have one of those days that you just didn't sleep enough, that you're not feeling alert, energized, that you're feeling a little sluggish, dial it down to C for 30 seconds and then dial it down even further so that it's at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes and you will feel so much better, more alert, more active, more energized. I started reading more about cold showers to do this video and I found out that people say that it helps you boost your metabolism as well. Now, we know that cold shower helps you boost your blood circulation. Now, increasing your oxygen gives you a more active metabolism and it also helps you boost your immune system. So all of a sudden you start thinking, well, I know it's not much, right? Taking cold showers, I, I know I'm not gonna like lose weight immediately. I know my skin and hair, you know, they're not gonna look their best after one cold shower, but gradually it sounds like a pretty good idea. Right? If you can improve your hair and your skin 0.5% daily by taking a cold shower, it, you know, it starts to grow slowly and all of a sudden it does make sense because cold showers are not fun. Let's be honest, nobody likes to take cold showers, but the benefits so far seem to be pretty good. Now, the next thing that I read online and as soon as I read it, I was just like, ah oh, man, I, I, don't, I don't believe this. <laughs> I don't believe this. People say that if you take cold showers, it helps you sleep better at night. So I saw this guy saying, oh, I never miss it. You know, I take a cold shower before going to bed every night because it lowers your body temperature and at a certain body temperature, you sleep better and, all, and I'm like, bruh, there is no way you're gonna catch me having a cold icy shower at night before I go to bed. I, we just talked about how it energizes you, how it gives you, you know, a lot of alertness and energy, I, no. That to me, that's a no-go. Now, that might be a personal preference. Do I like to crank my AC at night so that I sleep at a lower temperature? Yeah. Am I gonna take an ice cold shower before going to bed? Hell no. I'm gonna have nightmares all night. I can't, I can't do that. I'm gonna take a nice warm shower before I go to sleep and then just dial down the AC and let it do its job while I am comfortable under the blanket. Now, because there's so much cold shower content on YouTube, I would love to ask you guys, do you take 
cold showers? Why do you take it? Is it because you saw it on YouTube? Is it because you did your own research outside of YouTube and you just felt like it was good? Do you actually see the benefits? Let me know in the comments section down below. I would love to read those comments and learn more about your behavior as well and whether or not you like taking cold showers, which I don't think you do. Nobody really likes taking cold showers. And of course, thank you so much Tiege Hanley for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want better skin, make sure to check them out for a special free gift as well. This first link in the description below. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's at Alex Costa. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button below. Join the YouTube family that keeps growing each and every day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.